presents to everybody welcome welcome back to another edition of bleach bangs and we're here again myself charlie randy and john and that was a little bit of who we have coming on to talk with us tonight the rumors out of iowa right john yeah that is correct charlie uh they are running the touch behind so they're they here. will join us as soon as possible they're here they're knocking on the door sir oh well never oh. mind as soon as possible <laughs> is this soon <laughs> hello Hi. There they are. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Ella and Carly from The Rumors. We just had a little bit of uh, Want You Play. I don't know if you guys got to hear that in the waiting room area where you were. No, we were hurrying. <laughs> <laughs> we're fashionably late. <laughs> yes. Like, okay. that's what you got to do, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so we were, we were just talking, and discussing the fact you guys are from Iowa and I've seen you a few times. I am a huge fan. Uh, Charlie has been checking your stuff out and we already know he's a huge fan now at this point. So you're going to have to go to New Mexico. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me start with uh, how did you guys get going as a band? Like to the people that have never heard of you or anything like that, like how did you guys get started? So <laughs> <laughs> I started the band when I was in high school for a show or whatever and then after that I was like well I actually want to do this and take it seriously so I found Bay over here and I was like okay you're gonna play the old bass player and then we begged Daniel to be in the band over here and at the time we had Stu and now we're a three piece so <laughs> nice nice I was going to pause in case anybody jumped in because that happens. So the last time that you guys were out on tour, I know that uh, your tour had to end early. And the last couple of times, maybe you've had some tour troubles that you've been out. You want to you want to dive into any of that? Like we're cursed. Uh, <laughs> right. Seriously, I think it's another like the yeah. last tour I was pregnant. So I tried to rock pregnant and I was like seven and a half months pregnant Dang. and I was like I can do this yeah and like the fourth day in I passed out <laughs> like right oh. after I got off the stage totally rushed to the ER and they were like maybe you should go home yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. Really scary. <laughs> it, yeah it was terrifying baby's totally fine yes yeah. that's that's what that's what counts that's what counts yeah, yeah I mean <laughs> I tried, but Texas hates me. <laughs> hates me. And then every, yeah, every time we're on the East Coast, Carly gets like wicked sick. Yeah, terrible. Like she lost her voice. Was it last year? The, yeah, or the last year before. Year tour. I think you were pregnant. Was at I the still, beginning. Oh, is that? Oh yeah. And then I got one of my pregnant. <laughs> no, <right? laughs> well, it takes a long time. <laughs> Yeah, you're like pregnant for almost a year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, tours are fun, aren't they? They can be so glamorous and so fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's nice, smelly van. <laughs> well, not so smelly. Yeah. <laughs> Gas station hot dogs. It's good stuff, man. Oh yeah, I loves every. Day. <laughs> That's that's awesome. So so what are you guys what are you guys doing currently right now? Like as far as like are you writing? Are you doing a record? Um, planning on touring? What's what's going on with you guys right at the moment? Well, we do have a lot of shows coming up and we do have a tour this summer. So we're trying to write in between and get into the studio. We're actually gonna release a new single next month. 
um, May 27th, I believe. And so we're going to have something out there at least to listen to while we're working on the record. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my, my, my audio cut out for a second. Did you say you had, you were working on the record and it was going to come out this in the end of this year? Um, hopefully at the beginning of next year, I think is okay. more realistic. Okay. That's, that's what I thought you were saying. I was just clarifying because my audio cut out on my side. It wasn't, you know, cool. <laughs> I used to can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of loud music going on. It's, it's it, I think we're all in the same boat. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Start to go yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right. So what key elements do you believe makes a successful song? What do you think? I mean, a wicked chorus for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some, someone, you know, will drive home and be like, oh man. Yeah, I agree. I think there needs to be some really good guitar work in there. And then I'm not saying like, right. but really fucking good. And it just sounds, the tone majestic. Have to be good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a good word for it. <laughs> yes. I think lyrical content too. You need to be writing about something that leaves a mark. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. If it's first the melody catches me or or the uh, the chorus catches me and then I'll be listening to it and then I'm like, shit, those lyrics are fucking badass. You know, so it it first catches me with the 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 melody and gets me roped in with all that stuff. And then I'm like, shit. Yeah. Saying, man, I get it. I get it. And like making a song sometimes we'll do the music first and then later or sometimes uh -huh. there's first and then music later yeah yeah it depends yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey welcome back john yeah where'd hey, you go sorry. uh i don't know i just i just <laughs> left <laughs> i just i just had to go <laughs> it happened so i have no idea what all you were discussing while i was uh while i was gone we was talked it about it too. <laughs> uh, we talked a little bit about them writing and the album hopefully coming out at the beginning of next year. Uh, some of their tour, some of the, some of the, we talked a little bit about their tour, you know, st stuff like that. Absolutely. You guys have some shows coming up in the very near future. Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, we start next weekend in Omaha on Friday and then Jane's, well, at the Reverb Lounge, Janesville, Wisconsin on Saturday at the Back Bar. Um, May 1st at Live Club in Chicago. That's our favorite club to play ever. So we're really excited about that. And then there's on May 6th in Cedar Rapids at MoCo. And at the end of the month, uh, the 28th of May, we're back at Liars Club. Very cool. Awesome. Very cool. So is there is there a band out there that you guys have on your in your personal playlist like that pumps you up before a show and keeps you going? <laughs> is, do, you have, do you have separate ones or do you guys all have a universal one that you all like to get into uh, before? What? <laughs> the pimps. <laughs> we listen to the band the pimps all the time. Um, there's a song, I think it's Dance at the Soiree. And we just sing at each other because it's talking about other girls. Are there going to be girls at the party? So get your head out of your ass, dad. <laughs> <laughs> and we just sing at each other before we it's go on just stage. Super funny. <laughs> it makes us all laugh and then we're like ready to go on. <laughs> yes. No, we have to listen to it. Otherwise, yeah. it'll be a terrible show. <laughs> <laughs> well, it puts you, yeah, it puts you all in a good mood. It puts you guys in the gym and the party and rock and roll. So that's what it counts. Yeah. So I had a question. Um, as, as far, is there a band or a couple, maybe a couple of bands that you would like to join up with and tour with? I mean, it doesn't. It can be a bigger band. It could be just somebody. You know, I, I mean, anybody. Are there bands that you like? I, I want to tour with that band. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew it. I have to say, Electric Six. I love oh, them yeah. so much. That would be so fucking. I know, big. and they're in Dubuque May Six. Uh, like, yeah! <laughs> go to the early so we can go we should just take our stuff and be like no we're opening <laughs> <laughs> that, 
they actually work. I mean, we used to do that at, at rock shows, you know, you just like act like you belong and you get down in the pit. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I think I know, right? Be like, hey, and we just show up at every show for the tour. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it. And just just get up there and play and play your asses off and, and do it every show. And they're just gonna be like, maybe they were with us the whole time. Yeah. Print, okay. them up, print up your own flyers with you in the bottom and all that kind of stuff. Start posting them around, and then they're just kind of like, oh, it's whatever. It's Fucking whatever. whatever man. <laughs> Those chips are pretty cool. Yeah, let's just let them stay. Shoot them over a little bit on the merch booth so you can get your shirts in there. (laughs) And after the show, they won't let us have any space for merch. (laughs) Oh, that would be that would be hilarious. That would be epic. That that would really be epic. I mean, I I don't doubt the uh, the power of just looking like you belong where you're where you're at. If you go in with confidence, you go in with your bass guitar and your guitar and all that shit, man, they're just going to be like, okay. All right. Right? (laughs) Before. (laughs) Yeah, I I got to tell you guys. It's a very fierce show to watch these guys perform. It's Because they look all sweet and innocent, but as soon as they hit the stage, no, they're kicking you in the face, man. Yeah. The whole show. Oh, yeah. 100% kicking you in the face. So nice. definitely uh, get down there to New Mexico to get up to Charlie. He likes to get kicked. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. If you guys ever make it out this way, you know, just get in touch with us and, and um, we'll take care of you, man. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Absolutely. Turkey. <laughs> It's it's a cool place to visit. <laughs> yeah, I you might not want to. <laughs> you might not want to park outside Charlie's place, but yeah, yeah. Oh. Just... Uh, yeah, no. Somebody somebody just sold my car last week. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I mean that. Ha- I mean, I guess that kind of shit happens everywhere, but it's just like, come on, man. <laughs> what the hell? Jeez, almost yeah. just. I- it works uh, out. I hope oh. they track it down. Yeah. Oh, they do. Oh but, no, I, they already did. I, they found it. They found the cops found it, and it was like uh, meth city inside of there, man. Oh, <laughs> just yeah. bad. It was I bad. Can, dang it! I was gonna say, like, if you still don't know what happened to it, you could make up a really cool story. Like, yeah, this guy robbed a bank, he a car, and it was right there. <laughs> <laughs> man, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have thought of that actually. <laughs> But yeah. not, you know, not just just some meth heads moved in and took over and left all their they left a bunch of meth in there too, which was fucking crazy to me that the cops didn't like, you know, like take it. But that's that's another story. That's 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 something else. So messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So what's up with the future for you guys? Uh with new music, new albums. What do you got coming up? So we have been writing a little bit. We I think we need shows to die down a little bit so we can have some time to get together and start writing a little. But we do have plans to go back to the studio. We have two songs recorded right now. Um, we just got to get writing and recording, and you know, hopefully, we'll have an album ready to go by early next year. Nice. Oh, we will. <laughs> we will. <laughs> you will. Yeah, you guys will. You will. And, and in order for people to find your merch, where would they go look for that? The rumors.square.site. It will all be right there at the front. Nice. Very cool. And I know our behind the scenes guy is going to put that link up on our uh, yeah. live, live feed here momentarily. It'll be Thank out there for everybody that's watching. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Oh, now I'm so, seeing cup. All right, cool. All right. Um, why, I got I got another. I got. Why don't we play another? Why don't we play a clip of the, of that song again? Yeah, yeah. I, I, we just play short ones because yeah. we keep getting copyright strikes and shit on Facebook because we're actually Facebook Live right now as well. Oh. So. <laughs> oh Oops. shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, forgot to oh. tell you guys. Oh yeah, shouldn't no, we? No, I think I told Carly that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing we're gonna do it at this time see you there <laughs> i'll tell you later <laughs> well yeah so um yeah so we're like randy was saying we get uh we get little hits and shit every once in a while for copyright stuff on facebook and they'll like cancel the whole whole show so we can only play snippets at the time at the moment so we're gonna play like 30 seconds of, of your song if that's cool with you guys yes absolutely Awesome, cool. Hey, look, Anything? Facebook, we have permission. Yeah. Get off the fucking back. There's <laughs> consent. Yeah. Ashton? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, Again, the, the, best. Man, that's the, man, best. the rumors. The rumors, man. <laughs> See, Second I moment. love it when the band's watching themselves and they're reacting <laughs> to their own stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. So, um, so you guys are a three piece. You used to be a four piece, correct? Yes. yes. So why a three piece now? Why is is it just does it just fit better for you guys? It does fit better for us. Um, we had some issues along the way. Um, it turns out we get along better as a three-piece band. <laughs> so we had to keep it. We had, we had, it was a long time coming. Um, okay. I, this before, that we would be able to work it out. <laughs> Otherwise it would have happened sooner, but you know, everything yeah. happened right time. Yeah, we were actually trying for, um, we were having tryouts for a guitarist for a little while. And then in the midst of doing that, we realized we don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Right? Let's just do a three piece. And we're like, should we? Let's try this out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you guys sound you guys sound really full as a you know, as a three piece. So I mean that's 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 a testament to your guys' playing ability, I think. You know, so it sounds really full. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because when I was when I was when I was first listening the other day, I I, I wasn't watching a video or anything, and it, it sounded like you know I thought it was a four piece at the time, and then you know watch a video, and I'm like, oh, that's only a three piece. Okay, but hey, man, sounds great. Hell yeah, man! Thanks. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I think we still have a few more minutes. Um, but I, I wanted to just personally thank you know we're gonna thank you guys, man. We're just like this little little podcast that we you know. We started way back in, I don't know, when did we start? 2009, you guys? You know, and then remember. we're dying, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, and we kind of built up a nice little thing, and then uh, we, we, took, uh, we took quite a few years off, and, and, and we're, back to, we're back to doing it. And, we, and before it wasn't, uh, we never did the video, or we, it was just like this whole crazy thing over the telephone. And I appreciate having you guys on, uh, you know, bands like yourselves, to, that give us your time so we can promote you man that's this is this is like we love doing this dude thank you thank you for having us and promoting us yeah for sure <laughs> absolutely absolutely and that's also like one of the things i used to do like you guys stayed with us when uh, you came yeah. through town uh a lot of that started from us doing this show and we'd had bands coming through yeah and i know that you know, they if they want to crash, they're going to sleep in their van, or they're going to spend everything they just made on hotel rooms. Right. Yeah. So it's just what we can do to like help you guys stay on the road longer, if you will. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I if you're healthy enough to. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel so bad because she's so sick, and then we all ride in a car together, then we all get sick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's always really cool to be able to 
to to wash your clothes somewhere and <laughs> and do 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 that type. Just kick back and watch freaking Netflix. Get caught yeah. up on on this, you know, something just at somebody's house, you know. And yeah. um, that's kind of what we've always done with with yeah. other, other bands. They they come. It's not some big big party, woo! But you know, we'll we'll have something good to eat and. They'll load up the washer and dryer and, yeah. and just chill. Just just fucking chill. Yeah. That's all the bands need sometimes. Uh, I just <laughs> wanna... yeah, yeah, and that's just, that's just another extension of, of this podcast and what we do is, you know, I mean, we can we can promote and promote and promote, but we can only promote so much and and and, and all this stuff that we're doing like this. But you know, we you know, we find our other ways to to, you know. <laughs> So you guys, you guys have a standing invitation when you're in Albuquerque, when you're when you're in Oklahoma City with Randy. You know, you guys have an open invitation with us. So, you know, oh, always. Yes. <laughs> They're crying now. Stop no, it. Crying. Stop it. Crying. <laughs> and John knows a really good place for tacos in Topeka. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, please. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Absolutely. I want tacos. <laughs> uh, you guys could be here in about five hours, but they're going to be closed, so we'll get them tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Lunch date. Yes. Sounds perfect. Yeah. But you have to bring Daniel as well. I don't know. He just... <laughs> He's busy. Yeah. I was just going to say, because somehow I'll get you guys to play somewhere. Like, that's what I was going to do with that. <laughs> Great. Happy. Like, if I'm going to get you here, I'm going to see you play. Well, yeah. <laughs> he has the van. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew he was good. <laughs> he has great storytelling skills as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. But he's got to be like 15 deep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can do that. We can definitely do that. <laughs> sweet absolutely um, so, so one more time where can everybody find everything about you guys um you guys can find us on facebook it's spelled the rumors the r-u-m-o-u-r-s mm -hmm. not, not cover band rum hours yes the rum <laughs> is, <laughs> that is how you spell it you can find us on facebook instagram um otherwise our website is the rumors dot square dot site and we have links to all of that in there as well okay awesome man Sweet. and we do have that link up in the chat now so it's out there yay awesome <laughs> so in, in about 20 minutes you're gonna have like 40 orders or something probably hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> so anybody that's watching you better go order something because i just made them a deal <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely Yes. Yes. What do we do for you guys? We're here. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Is there any uh great tour stories that you want to tell? Like any like this was the most amazing stop type anything? Okay. They gotta think it over. Yes, you should. Yeah. 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 Oh my god <laughs> i forgot when we were in washington dc we had a day off like before we played the and we were just at our hotel bar and this older gentleman came up and started talking to us and thought we were kiss yeah <laughs> wait wait thought you were him john it just it just I, fucking sunk in really. it writes itself <laughs> i don't have to do anything did you there is no way there is no way did you guys work this out before the show that kiss was going to get mentioned no no fucking john john no what what so, so uh, it, it's like a it's like a running joke on this show that somehow john always gets kiss mentioned <laughs> or talked i mean it's yeah somehow kiss Oh, oh that's that's an accident. We did not know about this. <laughs> it's, it's, John's it's, having a lot of little happy accidents here lately. Yeah. 
That's hilarious, man. That oh shit. That's I'm like funny. the Bob Ross of Kiss stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you screenshots for proof. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. That is no. Oh. It was bad. Guys, I can't make this up. It just writes itself for me. I guess. <laughs> that was he absolutely said, incredible. Even before we came on, he's like, he he led to that he had. A plan to get Kiss in there at some point. He didn't even have to. He didn't even have to do it. Like you know how much Kiss stuff I have in my house. It's gonna come up. I can put it. Like that, that picture's still up there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's wild. I'm curious, how are you gonna bring it up? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have random merch I can bring over and put in the screen with me. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, he'll just, he can just bring it over here and set it beside me. Like I can bring it up. It's, yeah. Like oh, and I just made it so easy. Ooh. Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, they they did great. that last week too. The band that we were interviewing just went into this kiss thing, and I'm like, really, John? <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't me. That's. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, man, I, I can't thank you guys enough for hanging out with us, man. It's It's been a pleasure to have you guys. Um, man, uh, and, and, and like I said, standing invitation, anytime you guys need a place to crash. Also, anytime you guys want to come back on here and, sh and, and talk with us, you don't have to have anything going on necessarily. If you just want to come and shoot the shit for a little while, that's totally cool, man. We'll see you yeah. next week then. Yeah. <laughs> Seven o'clock central every Wednesday. <laughs> Not every Wednesday. They'll have to come on after the other two guests next week. Oh, so we'll be like yeah. eight o'clock. Okay, we we'll, 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 we can do it with Daniel too. <laughs> well, it has to be fifteen keystones in. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're gonna hold you to it. <laughs> All right. On it. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, we got to pre prep for our uh, our next guest to come on as well. Um, you're always welcome here. You know that the booby trap loves you. So we would love to have you back in Topeka. Yes, soon. Yeah, hopefully. Did he freeze awesome. on everybody or just me? He froze on oh. us. Hey, John, <laughs> you're like froze. Yeah, he's froze. All you right. are no. He wants us to look at his kiss picture on the wall. I think I don't want to look at it. Man. <laughs> it was head up <laughs> i don't want to look at it all right again you know, thank you guys so much for hanging out but we're, we're gonna let you go but um like us you know anytime get in touch with us okay and thank you guys. Thank you guys you guys are awesome thank, thank you. you have a good night bye. 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 Bye -bye. john says goodbye <laughs> there he is oh bye john <laughs> bye <Yes. girl. laughs> You guys, I do not know what's going on with my system tonight. Like, I keep it freezing, happens. losing connection. It not happens. a good me. It happens, bro. That's yeah. why we're. That's why we're a three piece, man. That's right. Sometimes, sometimes things happen. It does, <laughs> and it's all good, man. Um, big thanks to the ladies and, and, and the rumors for hanging out with us, man. That was that was fucking cool. That was dude, I, this fucking kiss shit is getting that's like. It. It's really odd. That's just kind of freaky. And, and this, I, I cannot believe that this isn't all planned. You see this face? This is my suspicious face. Like, <laughs> mm, mm, something's going on there. <laughs> Bro. The fact that that came, the fact that that came up. It, it, dude, it just came up. Now I was like, are you fucking stupid? Kiss? Really, man? Really? <laughs> Um, and, and I feel bad. I kind of feel bad because it took away from their story a little bit. I was like, fucking, we're like, fucking kids, really? You know what we need to do? It, anytime the first time Kiss comes up on each one, uh, Ashton have some sort of sound bite. Hmm. Something. Yeah, like, um, do you guys remember fucking Pee Wee's Playhouse? Yes. <laughs> you remember when fucking they say the word of the day the every the day? Magic word and, ah! <laughs> 
that's how it feels. It's like, there it is. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I think that's absolutely amazing. That is pretty fucking, that's pretty funny, dude. That is funny. So, um, uh, hey, com- coming up, uh, we, we do have Marsha Drive. And mm-hmm. Charlie, I don't think you were on yet when we were talking pre show, but it sounds like we're going to have, I'm not going. Okay. We're going to have all three of the guys from Marsha Drive because they're actually recording right now. Oh, shit. Cool. Well, I mean, you know what? We're going to hang out until they come on. And I'm kind of echoing a little bit, but do you guys hear it? Yeah. There's a little echo. You know, I mean, we're just going to have to fucking power through, I guess. Yep. I'll just talk really quiet. Maybe it won't echo. (laughs) Does that work? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Somebody's texting. Probably fucking texting me happy birthday. Oh uh, yeah. I meant to mention that while we were on the air. Today is Charlie's birthday. Uh I see what I did there. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um yeah, no, that'll be cool to have all three of those guys on. I haven't, oh, yeah. I haven't talked to Art and Matt in fucking forever. So um well in the meantime do we want to touch on that skid row shit right now or do we want to wait let's do that yeah. so so real quick we're going to talk about it and then we're going to play a little bit um yeah this fucking kid dude um john was saying that he was listening to him and it, it was like what year is this like this sounds like fucking old school skid row man it's fucking it's so fucking good did you guys want to add something to that too no. Yeah. No, you're good. Right, so, we're, so we're gonna play. <laughs> so we're gonna play a little, a little tidbit of their new song. The game's all here, um, with the, with Skid Row's new lead singer, and I'm fucking spacing on his name, Eric. Eric Cromwell. Cromwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, here it is. So that's the new ah, skid row. Yeah. That's fucking good. So, and I should have looked this up, but maybe you guys know this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe you guys know this. Did they record with their last singer? Did they record anything with him? I don't think they did, did they? Not that I'm aware of. I, yeah, I, I, think so. I think this is like the first new music since since Johnny. Hey, Frankie is here. Um, do we want to go ahead and let him in? Absolutely. Let's All let right. him in. Then uh, Ashton will have that song ready to cue up. Cuckoo. Hey, Frankie, you're sideways. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't I don't hear him yet. No, not yet. Nope. Still connecting to audio. All right. All right. I got you now. There it is. There, there it we is. go. There we go. Well, What's up, Frankie? What's going on? Oh, so hang on. I'm still set up here. I've never zoomed before. <laughs> <laughs> you've gone through COVID and you've never zoomed? That's that's a true statement. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't welcome, either. welcome to the club, dude. We don't either. We have we don't know what we're doing. Bro. Right. It's just messing up over here. Left right. All right. It's all good, man. That should be good. Yeah, it works. All right. Perfect. All right. Hell yeah. I hey, got my short, got my short little back. clip of the song. So uh, what's what's the deal on this here podcast? I, mean, I haven't uh, 
never really talked to John about it too much. He just asked me if I wanted to come up. Yeah, yeah, man. This is Matt, Matt Cook, the drummer. What What's up, up Matt? Matt? What's up, dude? I know, I know you, Matt. You know, Matt. Yeah, what's up, John? How are you Kansas. doing, Matt? We're good. How about yourself? Doing good, doing good. We're just uh, out here doing a little promotion to you guys, really. Uh, that was a clip from your song, Back Again. I was listening to quite a bit of your stuff last night. I was, kept having to go back to YouTube and like research search again and pull up your next one because it kept jumping me off into a random world of music. And I was like, no, I'm trying to stay on that playlist. That darn algorithm. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were all in the same room together. <laughs> right. Yeah. See, I mean, we're all in a hey, room. room. Oh, room. <laughs> we're in a room for sure. <laughs> so one of my questions that i have for you frankie is like i know your history and where you were before and all that how is it for you to transition to vocals like was it a simple like i wanted to do this anyway um yeah i've been singing for a while but it's weird it's it's definitely more challenging than i thought it would be um you know i feel like it's easy to write bass lines you know it's easy to write backups and stuff and har harmonies but to write leads is like a whole new, it's like learning a new instrument in a way, even if you're already a singer, mm -hmm. to to actually write vocals is just insane. Um, but I've been doing it for a bit now, so it's kind of coming to me naturally again. Um, but it's still still not as easy as uh, stuff I've been doing for, you know, 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fun. I, I like a new challenge. It right. sounds fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. That, that shit was awesome. Yeah, like, dude, you sound you sound great. So you know, hopefully that you know makes you you know feel good about that because yeah, you sound fucking great. I, you know, I wouldn't have known if I didn't know about you. You know that you weren't you know that you were making a transition to singing because you know you sound great, dude. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're actually recording uh, some new stuff coming up in a few weeks here. We're demoing it tonight. Uh, as soon as I get off this call, which is exciting. Yeah. Um, I think the new stuff is 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 pretty primo too. So we'll see how see if you like that. I'm sure we will, dude. I'm sure we will. I mean, um, I, I I know Matt and, and Art from from before, and um, both amazing fucking musicians. I've always thought so. Um, you are as well. So yeah, I think this is a this is a this is a nice little fucking match. This this little trio you guys got going on, man. Yeah, that's one of my favorite drummers for sure. Dude, he's Straight a fucking up. he's a fucking beast, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, so is this guy though. We we all try. We all yeah. try our best, please. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so how long have you been doing this podcast? Um, so as quickly as I can tell you, we started doing this in 2009. We did it up until 2013, 14. But anyway, we, we've been off. We've been off for a few years, and then we just started back up in February. Whole new, uh, whole new thing. Where you know, before it was like over the telephone. It was like it was a weird fucking setup that we had. It worked. I mean, it it was okay. But now we can do the video, and, and uh, yeah. So we started we started doing it again in February of this year. So you guys are like on our on our eleventh episode. Oh nice. sweet, yeah, mm -hmm. man, absolutely. Lucky lucky. <laughs> You know, other, I mean, we just try to, you know, we just try to promote bands that, you know, that, that need the promotion and, and, and deserve it. And fucking, we just try to get the name out there as much as possible. Um, also, Matt and, and Art know if you like to travel in through one of our towns, you guys need a place to crash. We got you covered. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we plan on traveling soon. So, okay, cool. so yeah, 
you guys are you guys are doing some recording um, in the next couple of weeks, and then um, you're going to hit the road pretty quick after that. You guys already have something set. Um, nothing set immediately. We have some plans to go up uh, to the northeast and back for uh, for late June, um, but, but you know, plans are just plans until they come to fruition. Yeah. So so true. Right on. Especially these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. Even if you have plans, they can be canceled. <laughs> Yeah. Like I keep saying, uh, we're we're waiting for the next strain. Where's the next strain? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens, right? <laughs> Got to shut them down again. <laughs> <laughs> and my apologies again for uh, I keep disappearing because my internet keeps kicking me out of the the stream. But uh, is there a story behind your guys' band name? Like, where did it come from? Like, how do you came up with it? Yeah, um, so it's actually the street that Arthur grew up on. Funny enough, um, you know, we went through a big old list of names and we were like, you know, we had some good ones, some good contenders, but most of the ones that we kind of really liked were already taken, even by a small band, it was already taken. And um, we kind of just liked Marsha Drive because it was, it doesn't put anything in your head, like any predisposition. You don't hear it and think like, anything if you don't know yeah. Marsha Drive and you never heard them you don't know what you're going to listen to which I think mm -hmm. is pretty cool it's like two words that sound good next to each other yeah you know? yeah yeah that, so, that makes fucking sense think, man yeah that's where that's where Art grew up on uh me Art and Rick used to live all three together in that house for a, a moment in time as well yeah, yeah. not me though oh. <laughs> we're down here yet oh shit yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> Guys, there. Do you guys have physical copies of CDs currently? Not yet. We're uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna we have some plans for stuff like that. Um, basically, the recordings we have out are you know a little dated, and we kind of recorded them in my living room when I was in New York. You know what I mean? So CDs for that, eh? You know, that was just kind of to get something out there. But mm -hmm. we're we're uh, the next recordings. We're gonna really step it up a notch and make sure it's quality stuff and up to our part yeah what we wanted to sound like yeah awesome. really, really can uh to like set the uh be begin the new chapter so to speak nice man which we're still already kind of on you know, yeah we're still, right we're still on the new chapter we're, we're still in the first chapter we haven't really done much which is exciting to have so much to look forward to i guess absolutely mm -hmm. nice man nice um I've totally lost what I was going to say there. I'm so sorry. It is 420, girl. Yeah. It's I, his birthday. It's, <laughs> it's whose birthday? It's Charlie's birthday. It's my little brother's <laughs> birthday. Shit. All right, on. Cool, Happy man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Smoke a cigar. What's that? A birthday cigar. Uh. Um, probably a joint later. <laughs> oh, that works. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Maybe some bong rips, probably. <laughs> bong rips for Jesus. Absolutely, absolutely. That's right. Um, so I have, so I have this weird question that, that I'm that I've been asking bands lately, and it's, I mean it's, it's not that weird, but I'm going to make it weirder than it is by just saying that it's weird. Um, <laughs> fucking. Um, if there's a band that you guys could tour with that you that you're just like, man, I would love to fucking tour with that band. And it, it could be a bigger, well-known band. It could be just a band that you know about and maybe nobody else does, but you want to fucking tour with that band. Is there a band like, like that for you guys? Oh, there's a few. Well, what's your pick? Just right off the bat, first thing that comes to mind, I would say the darkness. I think the darkness that'd, mm -hmm. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I think mean, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. uh, even, uh, even modern day Stone Temple Pilots would be pretty bad. Totally. Cool, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something John, realistic, too, you know? Some, something that's realistic in a way. You know, that's not shooting too high. Sure. Aerosmith would be great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, hey, man, if you're going to dream, dream big, right? No, that's totally right. You know, Just gonna... dream on. I knew, oh, gonna do that. I knew you were going to do yes, that. John. God damn it. I knew you were going to do that. I had to. <laughs> you set it up for me. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. 
think Arthur should be here in a couple minutes. We're, uh, he's he's on the way. He's just getting out of teaching right now. Sweet, sweet. sweet. Hey, somebody's knocking on my door. I got to cut out real quick. Sorry. Okay. Don't, Don't do it. <laughs> I thought he was just going to close the door on us. I too. thought he was too. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> Isn't that the weirdest shit? <laughs> so you guys uh, are recording now? Yeah, we tonight. Tonight we're songs or so yeah. Tonight we're going to be demoing uh, just to get ready to do the real recording of it. You know, make sure it's we got every our uh, nuts and bolts tightened. So um, I think our plan right now is to kind of not necessarily aim for a record necessarily, but just constantly put out songs. Like Love just going to the studio, record a song. Love it. Song or two put them out and just do it more constantly than maybe necessarily focusing on a full length record or even yeah. an EP at that point. Kind of like keeps the, keeps the attention span going. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Matt was saying the other day that it's like, you know, you like, we could put the single out and make each one kind of like a single, but then there's like the B side track too, like an old 45. Like a virtual seven inch. Yeah. yeah virtual seven inch. That's, what, that's, that's actually exactly what you yeah. said. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's kind of the idea. Um, just kind of just putting putting songs out here and there. We have uh, we have a bunch ready to go. Um, there are a bunch that these guys brought to me when I joined the band, and then there's a few that we've written as well and are in the process of writing too. So yeah, there's a lot like on the horizon. But yeah, we kind of think just like taking it piece by piece is a good way to go. Smoke. Yeah. Are you guys planning on making a video for any of them, like in the future? Oh, I'm sure we will. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just it, I like making videos. I think that's fun. It is. With um, in the past, like uh, in previous bands, you know, we I had a big part in like organizing the videos. We all kind of did our part with it, but it was it was fun to do. I like kind of like being a director of that stuff. So <laughs> here's my vision. Yeah, <laughs> it's always a lot more simple than you might think. You know, so it's, you can make a lot of things look cool. Yeah, yeah. Use, awesome, a, use a college student with a camera and just tell him what to do. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's got yeah. <laughs> so if you're going to do uh, just release a whole bunch of singles, you probably won't have physical copies of like an album then, correct? Uh, yeah, or I guess. Just roll it all up and then at the end of the year, make an album for it. That, that is the thing, you know, you could just compile them all together and yeah. you know, choose choose a good order that flows and make an album out of it. That is yeah. totally a possibility. That's the thing, it's like, you can do anything these days. Yeah, yeah. we're kind of baby stepping it too, in a way, as far as, well, not baby stepping, but setting small goals because yeah. we just want to keep moving, keep moving forward. Yeah. We have to get people. We all know what burnout is like. Yeah. 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 I absolutely support the the releasing one song at a time because that's just the just it's just the way of uh, the now. I mean, you're right. Our attention span just it it sucks. It sucks. I mean, you, you can't hand us ten songs. We'll never freaking get it anymore. <laughs> I, I, I have to. I have to. I'm. A, I, I might be in the minority on this because. I mean, where, where I, they're both great. I mean, both work, in my opinion. I, I think with the way the majority, like the, the majority of everybody, like it is like the attention span. For me, man, like I remember just being a kid and getting my hands on a fucking uh, an album, a tape, a CD, you know, and, you know, fucking just putting it on and fucking from song one to song in, just going on a fucking journey for 45 minutes to an hour. Just, yeah, man. We yeah. look. We still do that. We're you're not a minority. We yeah, still love that. We, we're de don't get <laughs> us wrong. We're definitely fans of the the format that is the yeah. album. But the but LP. I but I understand how it is for you know how bands need to do things nowadays. It is it's a totally different landscape than it, than it was but, when I was growing up. But yeah, man, it's like I'm, I miss it. The funding, I think, is the biggest thing because like I would rather put out one song than nothing. Yeah, than nothing. Or but like just one song with like. 
a lot of care taken into how it was made and every detail that went into it rather than put out a bunch of songs just because that's all we could afford and we wanted to get yeah. all of it. Right. Rush through studio time, uh, recording 10 songs. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two songs yeah. worth of time. Yeah. I'm trying to be yeah, realistic about it, but with high standards at the same time, I think is our goal right now. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Oh, but man. no, I agree. I, mean, I love a good album. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if, if, uh, if your goal is to have eight to 10 songs on an album, and you've only got six, then don't the yeah. other ones may be fluff. Is that fair to you? No, no. it's not fair to yeah. you. It's not fair to your fans. It's not fair. Yeah. I mean, it just just to fill the spot. So yeah, you know, I, I love how you guys are doing that. And I, I love how you're thinking we don't we don't want to be chintzy on any of them. Exactly. Yeah. That's very smart. Well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always a learning curve, you know. Awesome. Hi, John. Hey, sorry. Yet again, I don't, I keep. Hello again, John. I keep disappearing. <laughs> he just keeps disappearing. <laughs> All right, man. It's okay, dude. He's a Look, magician. Man. If, if anybody's if anybody's expecting fucking high quality production value out of us, sorry, it's just not. I mean, we are what we are, what we are and we and, and and we do the best that we can. Right. As long as we can hear you, I can hear you all right. Absolutely. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! What else you got in that notebook, John? Uh, I actually didn't. I had a couple others, but it's already been covered basically. So. I was double checking to make sure, but everything that I was asking is already we've covered tonight. With them. Right. So I, yeah, I got a question. Right. I got a question for you guys. If, uh, if if people want to check you out, where can they find everything and anything about you guys? Um, on our YouTube channel, um, Spotify, iTunes. Um, I post a lot of our like what what we're doing on Facebook. Um, yeah. Many updates quick selfies just you know so you can see our faces and stuff yeah, yeah. right um instagram it's all just marsha drive um okay. just simple that at marsha drive yeah so um that's one nice thing about having a name that nobody else has too is we get to secure all the original marsha drive yeah so have to put marsha drive one two seven eight or something so it's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, no, the uh, yeah, the name it's uh, it does. It, it's like Matt said earlier. It's just two words that sound great next to each other, man. Marsha Drive, dude. It's fucking it's every time I say it a loud venue, people are like Marshall, <laughs> Marshall Drive. <laughs> oh, we get, we, dude. We've gotten so many over the years about our name for the fucking name of the, the podcast, and they're like, "What fucking beach balls and fucking <laughs> beach <laughs> balls?" We had all kinds of shit. I mean, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. Yeah. So you I'm, guys have my ticket, I'm drinking a Keystone right now. Keystone. Keystone. Put Keystone. that out there. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> person. Do you guys have any shows coming up, uh, even just locally, that you play like nearby or? Sorry, John, say it again. Yes, if I have any. Any shows uh, coming up here in the near future? Um, we just played like a long string of shows, like, uh, last, a couple weekends ago, we had like four shows over the weekend. Um, last weekend we had two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two. yeah. I don't remember, but, um, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, living in a new state, uh, cause I only just moved down here, what, five months ago. So right. Like that. It's hard to get new connections down here. And so the booking has been a little slow. But it's starting to pick up, you know, we're starting to get venues that are, because once you play a couple, it's easier to be like, oh yeah, we've played at this place and this place, Right. we'd like your place. But at first it was really difficult. Um, it took me a while just to get the contacts and people that would give us a chance, essentially. Yeah. Being so new, having no repertoire, having no, um, just starting from ground up again, you know, so it's, again, it's been difficult, but that's part of it. And where are you guys at? Dallas. 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 It's a tough yep. market. It's a tough market. Yeah. 
a lot of people. A lot yeah. of people. <laughs> yeah, man. Right on, man. Um, it's been cool fucking hanging out with you guys. And uh, you guys are you guys are always welcome just to come on anytime. You guys you guys got something to promote, you know, a tour, a, an album. Or if you guys just want to come and hang out and fucking talk music or whatever, man, you guys are more than welcome to come on anytime. Just reach out to one of us and, and, and we'll hook you up. We'll, like, we'll fucking, we'll talk. Yeah, a new release, a new song. I mean, anything that you guys want to debut or do anything like that and get pushed out, we'll, we, that's what we do. We're here to promote you. And any way we can do it, it uh, we want to do it. Yep. I like it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of the whole podcast setup myself, so I'm always trying to get on anywhere. So I think it's fun. If you guys travel straight north, basically from from where you're at, like Randy can probably get you a show in OKC. Um, We're right. Oh yeah. And then a few hours further north, I could probably get you set up in Topeka. Yeah, let's set it up. I'm ready for a weekend warrior trip tomorrow. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) I don't know if I can set that up for tomorrow. By the way, (laughs) we might have. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know, I don't know if you want to put that loop to New Mexico with, in one. But, yeah. <laughs> I made that drive, and that sucks. Yeah. Come it, on, it man. A different drive. You're like, how long have we been in Texas? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, driving across Texas feels like you're like you're never gonna. It's like never gonna end, man. It's like holy it's shit. So I don't yeah. know. You ever drove across Kansas? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Kind of <laughs> most definitely <laughs> so which way like north and south isn't that bad but if you go east to west that might be a little rougher I've done that quite a few times yeah. and it is rough it is the same <laughs> thing whole time it's crazy Nebraska is pretty bad too oh yeah and, I mean there's some hills here and there some cows cows, cows and irrigation sprinklers what the that's that's what it is. <laughs> At night, it's kind of cool. You get fields of the uh, windmills, blanket. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I live I live in the desert, so we have we have like a couple mountains, a lot of cactus, and a lot of meth heads. Is it cactus or is it cacti? Well, there's one like a cacti, I guess. I think it's cacti. <laughs> I don't know. I was English not... lesson. Cactus is this. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, you guys are you guys are always you know we we'll, we'll, we'll get you a place to crash and you know and fucking if you're in our in our respective cities and you know we're here for you guys, man. So fucking keep up the good work. It, it fucking sounds amazing, and I can't wait to hear the new shit, dude. Oh yeah, you know, it does. Really fucking stoked, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're, our next uh, next one recording is called Taking Hits. Um, we have some. I think we have some live videos of it. That we- might post up too so yeah but, uh, definitely definitely check them out man. fucking badass yeah. song it's a little heavier you know so that counts oh, rocker kind of, yeah. it's more right it's more rock <laughs> <laughs> sweet man we well, appreciate you guys hanging out with us man um appreciate you having us. absolutely you guys know your family with us so anytime you need us we're here for you we talk about you all the time, John. Uh, good, I hope. <laughs> all right. Good and bad. Always. <laughs> all I can take that. <laughs> I can definitely take that. It's fine. That's perfect. Sweet, man. Well, awesome. I think we'll let you guys go, and then uh, you guys go fucking lay down some fucking uh, lay down some fucking killer rock, dude. All righty, that. Tell Art we said hi and we missed him and we'll catch him on the next one, man. Oh, All right, it's it. All right, guys. Bye. Awesome, man. Dude, that's going to be so fucking cool. They're like going to fucking record right now. That that's what's really up. Cool. That's what's up. Um, damn, it was pretty cool, man. Nice show, guys. So since we covered uh, our other stuff previously in the break in between, are we uh, we wrapped up tonight? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, unless we want to touch it. No, do we want to touch on that schedule a little bit more? We, are we pretty much we're pretty much wrapped. I think I think so. Uh, Randy, who do we have next week so that uh, our mm-hmm. listeners know what to tune in for? Ooh, that's, Ooh. A good, that's a good question. Boy, Ooh. you just 
You just know the answer. answer. I know the answer. I just wanted to. I know Randy had it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> that was really fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. It might be fucking canceled because I said gay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled because I said the Lord's name in vain. Holy shit. So next week we have Roy Cathy and Del Del Delacoma. Uh, who's that? Uh, <laughs> how do you see Del- Is that a is that a band? Is that a is that uh, a country? What is that? Is that a country? <laughs> <laughs> Our very good friend Delacoma. All right. All right. So can't wait to catch up with him. Um, always one of the just a great guy. Just yeah. a great fucking human being. He's a good soul, man. He's a good soul. Absolutely. So cannot wait to, to get on with him. And uh, he's he's one of our uh, – we had him really early in our career. Yeah. 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 I, pretty, pretty early. Definitely one that I'm – we we just stuck. It, it, it's just uh, yep. in our hearts. And uh, yep. he's still delivering. Yep. He's still delivering. Yeah. I know he's. I know he's been stuck. He's been stuck, man. He hasn't been over here in a couple of years, man. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. So we're pretty much we're we're kind of booked for for the for foreseeable future. Um. But that doesn't mean that we can't take on new guests. So if you're a band, um, or if you know somebody that's in a band and they want to just get on fucking like get on here and talk crazy with us and promote shit and talk about their band. Man, hit us up, man. You can either hit the Bleach Mangs page up on Facebook. You hit me up, Randy, John. I mean, talk to us, man. We'll, we'll put you on. We'll fucking promote the shit out of your band. Because that's what we fucking love to do, dude. Man, yeah, so, you know. Yeah. John? For sure. I, I'm going to just say yes to everything you just said. Uh, <laughs> right. and, if you need, and if you need one of our numbers, we can post Randy's in the... Uh, Oh, the comment man. section yeah. so you can just call him directly because I'm, I'm really good at responding <laughs> he's, he's so quick to respond he's so quick <laughs> yeah, hey, so, Ashton, uh, yeah I think we should done. just take us out awesome.